we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Welcome back! Last time we showed you our new uh, electricity setup and today we actually want to uh, tackle the topic of lights and the ceiling which was something we really wanted to do for a long time because this is gonna close the whole space in here so we actually have a great opportunity to work on the van on our friend's land which is quite amazing is a new place for us um, as you may know we we live in a city and we don't have our own space to work on the van so this is really amazing for us we have you know, great company, of course, because our friends <laughs> are building their house here. But we also have electricity and space, peace, quiet and forest. And that's all you need. So we feel really lucky and we are really excited about doing the rest of the build, which is actually the more exciting part, because after we tackle the ceiling, we're gonna start building the furniture and elements like this, which is gonna be amazing. So today we'll show you how it goes with the ceiling, which is luck, and let's get into it. So we had to do some shopping for electric things, and uh, a long while ago we actually bought these lights, and they all work, which is great. Martin tested it last time, and we made the holes for them. We made the holes for them, like this. So we need to finish with the last hole in here and then go with the with the cables right here. So this is what we're gonna tackle first, but then maybe as you can see here, this is our ceiling. So these are actually uh, very lightweight wooden planks um that we bought for quite cheap which is which was great it was cheap and light and these are all zero alcohol yes it's zero no alcohol not while we work <laughs> but anyway and um, this wood is similar color as the plywood so we want to go with the plywood tone in here and actually i painted all of them both sides with uh, clear lacquer lacquer varnish i don't know we painted i painted it we have it somewhere well i painted it from both sides to protect it from mostly from the sun because i don't want them to turn darker in color but also from you know from water and everything so now they're just prepared to go on the ceiling and we really we didn't spend much money on them which is really great because right now all the building materials are very expensive so yeah cheap lightweight we will see if the result is nice you will tell us. <laughs> Let's go for that. Yes. And last time we did some cable management. So we installed this plastic thing for the cables. And we've put the cables that we got from the company that did the power setup for us in here. But also we're gonna put our own cables that go to the, uh, to the lights. And we've already put the one that comes from the vent. So it's, it's coming from here and there and in here. And we put it into this protective thing. I don't know the specific names in English for this kind of stuff, I'm sorry. It's a thing for cable. And it goes all the way down to our setup. Actually, it's quite easy. It goes to this 12 volt place. And it's just plus and minus and it works.
the backlights are working because this is on. Yeah, and today we are testing the front lights. I will simulate the switch. Both are working. Yep. So to work on the ceiling, we had to start with the co with connecting the lights. So we had to lay the wires to all of the lights and we have four of them. And we connected the wires together because we will have two sections of the lights, back and front, two lights each. So they are connected together and also connected to the on and off switch. And all of this now works because Martin connected it all. And this was necessary because we had to, you know, have everything here ready if we want to put on the wooden ceiling. And now because in here all of it is fine, the cables here will hang, hang around and we'll focus on the, um, on the wood. Yeah. Of course, it was supposed to be an easy task, but it is not. We couldn't connect the wooden parts of the ceiling just using our hands mid-air. We needed to find a solution for that. And afterwards, it was hard to move it without, you know, disconnecting the parts. So, yeah, power tape connects everything in the universe. We need to connect this before putting it on the ceiling because we tried that and it didn't work. Because, you know, these wooden panels were quite cheap and we wanted to, them to look exact way that we imagined and these were the only ones that looked that way. But they don't connect well. In fact, we couldn't connect more than two pieces mid-air. So it was unachievable to uh, connect it on the ceiling itself. We couldn't do it one by one. We need to connect them all together, put it on the ceiling and screw them to the, to the roof. Okay, so of course nothing is easy as always um, and we've decided to start with the shorter section of the ceiling. We had to do it in two sections because we have boards that are only two meters long and our van inside is three meters long. So we had to, you know, combine them anyway, but we, we couldn't do it board by board either because they are so wonky. Um, that's what that's what you get when you want to do things cheap. Yeah. <laughs> and when you forget about these for half a year because we bought it last year. Yeah, and they dried. Yeah. Attaching it in pieces will also be easier because we need to cut off places for the vent and the lights and we will 
cut them from sides of these sections. So it should be easier. Should be. Guys, when your hands are weak and when you have no money, the answer is a city rig. So this will help us to keep the ceiling into the ceiling without holding it. So our wooden ceiling will be just sitting at top of this. We will put boards, one or two, just to raise it to the point where we can just screw it to the, to, to the wooden beams that we attach to the car beams. Beams? Beams. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, so uh, it should be a little bit easier than holding it up straight um, with our hands. Usually you use like these metal poles to just, you know, hold it in place and then work on it. But we don't have any. <laughs> and we didn't want to buy, so we had some extra wood from our friends from this um, house build. And we just, you know, whipped up this shitty rig to just help us. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let's hope it works. Like Crossing with everything fingers. we do. First times, always. Martin has cut these little pieces of plywood because we realized that if we want to attach the ceiling properly, we need to think about the curve as well. So we have these metal beams in here and we're gonna... Beams? Did I say beams? We have metal beams and we're gonna glue these in here. Look how it perfectly fits. And then we're gonna drill through this wood and this piece of metal and through the ceiling board. And we'll do it with all of these elements. Let's see if this glue dried. Donk. It did. Try and see if there is something inside. No, I don't think so. Rock solid. It stinks, so maybe something is there. Let's cut. See. So we are unscrewing the beams that we did uh, to, you know, hide all the screws inside the ceiling. And we're using this handy tool. Protective glasses, right? If you're wondering why the hell it takes us so long to do this freaking ceiling, we don't know either. We would love to know. Maybe it's like, you know, the universe is against us, but it's not as easy as we thought. Maybe that's one of the reasons. And the other reason is, this is the fifth day we work on it, but it's not like we are working full five days and, you know, we went somewhere and worked from dawn till night and everything. No, it's usually around maybe five hours a day that we can actually work because I work during the day and we have to spend an hour in commute in total to, to get here to work on it. And sometimes it's raining, sometimes you figure out there's another thing that you need to cut out of the ceiling and there's just a lot of these things. But when we have this piece done that you can see there, I think we'll finally sealing the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know, I'm gonna cry when it's finished. I think I'm gonna cry. I already cried once, but... <laughs> it's just how it is. It's not always, you know, easy and perfect and nice. But I think the end result will be all worth it.
So this is our favorite tool we got. We should have bought it a long time ago. It has a strong accumulator so we can work with all the screws, drilling things in wood, just holding it, it here. So we prepared pre-made holes for the screws to hide them inside the ceiling. We mounted the ceiling here and then we glued the ceiling here. So this is that's why we clamped here and attached these little pieces to hold it to glue nicely. And we had to do some cuts that were like measured and were quite tricky. So here, this will be the part where the light goes and we pre-made the hole in the insulation also. Here is the cable that we will attach. It's also connected and uh, pre prepared. We will attach here. And here, this was the tricky spot because the mechanism of the door was in the way of, you know, mounting the ceiling. It was a tricky part to cut out and it was a tricky part to mount and hold it, you know, up. It was hard, but we made it. And now it will be easier to mount another part because we have this straight line that we can just push another half of the ceiling to this and it will be aligned. So we just need to measure uh, how to cut the hole for the fan and another lights and we are basically done. I, I mean, I can see this now. <laughs> I couldn't see this yesterday or even today in the morning. So I'm super pumped to see. Very nice. We've made it. We finished. I mean, a couple of screws left, but it's basically done. And every hole fits. Measure thrice, cut once. Or measure 10 times, no matter, but measure a lot <laughs> and then cut. Oh my God. It's, ah. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super pumped. I mean, I'm sweaty, tired and I stink, but good job, good job. And thanks Camille for your help. We couldn't have done it without you and without Camille's and Kama Place. The garage, we live in it. <laughs> okay, so thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Just bye.